If I borrow this. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, wow. 
Jack. Jack? Jack! What are you doing, Jack? Um... Uh, we don't deal in home home here, son. We deal in... What? Anyone? Anyone? Starts with R. <laughs> Re... Reality. Yes, thank you. Reality. This is the real world, Jack. And everybody knows their place here. Our damsels are distressed. Rapunzel. Help me. Oh, help me. Help. Oh. Our princes are charming. Oh, yeah. Hey, Jack. Yep. Oh, no. Our answer news are incredibly gullible. Granny. 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 Our beauties are sleeping. Our stepsisters are ugly and mean. They're so hot! Help! And then there's you. Majoring in... Come on, Jack. Starts with H. Heroics? Right. Well, look at your grades. You're failing. You haven't done one heroic deed all semester. I'm thinking of changing your major to something else. Starts with a V. Vil. <laughs> Vil. <laughs> Anyone? <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> it's an honorable and worthy fairy tale profession, Jack. Please, sir. All I ever wanted to be is a hero. You want to be a hero? Everybody wants it, Jack. But few become it. I will. You're making me laugh, Jack. Stop. You're killing me. I don't think you're up to it. I mean, with your family history, only one other person ever flunked heroics. Anyone? Anyone? Starts with J. Jack's father! I am not like my father. He failed. No, he disappeared. Lost on a hero's quest. No, Jack, he failed. Ran away. Well, I won't. I'll work harder. I'll prove to you, to everybody, that I'm not a failure. Really, Jack? Have a good weekend. Homework is navigation and Hansel and Gretel. Try to do better this time. Don't worry. I have a plan. <laughs> Sir, mm. if I do a heroic deed, will you pass me? I'll need what? <clears throat> Starts with E. Ev Evidence. Exactly. Take the weekend, Jack. Come to terms with who you are. Good morning, Butter, Baker, Frank. Oh! oh. Whoa, there. Sorry, Mayor Litchfield. <laughs> you must try to stay focused on where you're going, young man. Exactly my problem. Oh, good afternoon, Emperor. Oh, good afternoon, Mayor. 
I love the new clothes. Oh, thank you. How kind. Yes, it fits like a glove. <laughs> oh, jolly good. Oh, jolly good. <laughs> okay, then. Mayor Litchfield. Yes. How do you make a sacrifice? Oh, I love a good riddle. I don't know, Jack. How do you make a sacrifice? It's a question. Oh. Oh, you're actually asking. It's not a conundrum. You wanted my advice, do you? Well, it's a very good question, Jack, and it's a very simple answer. The way to make a sacrifice is to take the most precious thing that you have and give it away to help someone else. Really? Really. That's all? That's all there is to it, young man. Thank you very much. Oh, you're very welcome. Very good boy, very good boy. Do watch where you're going. And excuse me, I have to go, but the Pipe Piper is giving a recital and I don't want to be late. Bye-bye. Mother Hubbard, simple Simon, come, come. We'll be late, we'll be late. All right. What's the most precious thing I have? The oldie video game. That's weird. I don't remember that being there. Buongiorno, willkommen. What's up? Hey. What can I do for you? How can I help? What do you want? What do you need? This is everything I own. And I'm willing to give it up. Whoa, the old digital bovine. The computer of wonder. Computer is wondrous. The cyber jersey. C-O-W. The cow. I'll give you 500 gold pieces for it. What? 600. No, it's only worth like 50. All right, 700. No, offer me like 10. 800? Five. 900? You're going the wrong way. Final offer, 1,000. You're not helping. I mean, 2,000% profit's not a sacrifice. And I want to make a sacrifice. No money. Let's just trade. Whoa, I like it. What about some uh, iocane powder? No, it's very poisonous. Or, um, do you know, at midnight last night, some girl left this glass slipper. There's only one of a kind. It's a collector's item. It's worth a fortune. No. Ah. Uh, I have a spinning wheel that spins straw into gold. You'll be rich. No. And of Midas. It's a little gross. No, you don't get it. Three beans. Three beans. Is it a trade or what? You're going to give me three lousy beans for my cow. Take it or leave it. I'll take it. Hey! <laughs> what generosity, what sacrifice! Thank you. You're welcome, no problem. De nada. Bit of shame. See you around, Jack. Hey there, Grayson. Who's a good boy? Mom! Hey, Mom! Guess you did something totally heroic today. Hey, Jack. Mom, what's wrong? Oh, nothing. How was your day? Good. That's good. It's good. I'm glad. How was yours? Well, I got fired. What? What happened? Apparently, 
Elves are coming in at night and finishing all our work. Now the shoemaker wants to cut back on labor force so he can save money. Oh, stupid goody-goody elves. It's okay, Mom. Things will be better after dinner. I'm starving. How about you? We're not starving. Breadcrumbs? Yeah. A couple of kids are just throwing them away. Hmm. Hmm. Breadcrumbs. Brilliant plan. You couldn't ask for directions, could you? Men. Sit down, Jack. Jack, we have to do something very hard right now. We're in a tight spot, and I need you to make a big sacrifice. Funny you should say that. I want you to sell the cow, Jack. It's the only thing we have of value. But, Mom... With the money that we get from that, we can feed ourselves till I can get back on my feet. Well, here's the thing. I can't really do that. I need you to be brave about this. I would, I really would, but Mom... There's no buts, Jack. I don't have it anymore. You want to run that by me again? I gave it away. What? What were you thinking? I was just trying to be heroic. Oh, Jack. I can't go through this again. Not after your father. I'm not like him, Mom. Oh, Jack. I'm not. in from the turbulent gale that is life. Huh? Have you drifted from your fated path, young journeyman? Huh? Are you lost, kid? No. I'm looking for the pawn shop. It was right here, earlier today. Same place, same counter. Weird. <laughs> Indeed, your words are as cloudy as the Highland Winter Moors. <laughs> what are you talking about? Look, kid, I'm just trying to give this thing a little color. Some vocabulary, okay? You think everything has to sound like a nursery rhyme? A thesaurus is not a kind of dinosaur. See what I mean? Oh, okay. Wherefore art thy establishment for the purveyance of trade and sale? What? The pawn shop. Will you stop with the pawn shop? There is no pawn shop. Get over it. Great. Just great. Some hero. You're a hero? We don't get many of those stories anymore. <laughs> Nowadays, it's all graphic novels and uh, manga, manga, manga. But real literature with a real hero. Excellent. So, what's your quest? Quest. Well, every hero needs a quest, a great and worthy goal. Well, I don't have one. No problem. We'll see what's available. Hmm. The Golden Fleece. That's been done. Oh. Ark of the Covenant? No, that's reserved for the chap with the hat and the... <laughs> oh, he's great. Atlantis, how long can you hold your breath? No, no. The impossible dream. Do you sing at all? Hmm. Oh, 
There's not much left. I mean, there's the... Wait. Oh, no. I don't think this one's for you. It's, it's too difficult. What is it? Well, it's Destiny's Harp. A golden harp that's been stolen and needs to be returned. It needs a hero with a little more experience. Sort of a sequel quest, really. I can do it. Well, I guess it's up to you, then. Everybody has a story, but only a few are worthy of being told. One more thing. This is for you. Is this a key? What does it open? Well, uh, maybe it'll open something for you when you need it. Maybe it'll close something for you as well one day. Thank you. You're welcome. Wait a second. This is our family crest. Jack, did you get the cow back? I tried, Mom, but the store changed into a bookshop. And what's that? Oh, the store owner gave it to me. He said it was a hero's quest. Again with the hero stuff. Your father wasn't a hero, Jack. No matter what you may want to believe, he, he talked all the time about secret missions, saving damsels and thwarting giants. But in the end, he just left us. You didn't believe any of it? Well, there was a time. No, it was just stories. And when he never came home, that was no fairy tale. We can't eat dreams, Jack. I wish we could, but we can't. Don't worry, Mom. I'll help out first thing tomorrow. All right, sweetheart. Good night.
said who said that? Who said who said who said that? It's me! I can talk! I'm a monster! Ah! See, I, I ate a bean. They were magic? Of course. They were magic. So if you're you, then the beans... thing ever. Sounds like a harp. A harp. Destiny's harp. What are you talking about? It's my quest. Uh, Jack. Whoa, whoa, Jack, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, what? Jack begins climbing the magical beanstalk. right there, I swear it. Tell me what it says. It's doing it. It's doing it. Jack begins climbing the magical beanstalk. Thus begins his quest for Destiny's Harp. All right, Grayson. Come on. Let's go. Up there? Well, yeah. I, I don't think so. I'm not good with heights, and, uh, and I'm not good with quests, either. I have an old war quest injury. Uh, you know what? Go up there, take plenty of pictures, send me a postcard, and, and give my love to the harp. You know what? You're right. Why don't you just stay down there and look out for big, bad wolves, OK? Wolves? Ah! <laughs> Don't you just love climbing, Jack? Mm -hmm. Got my helmet, got my rope. Ha! <sighs> <gasps> beanstalk. This is just what I need. Hey, Grayson! I can see our house from here. Oh. That's nice. Can I go downstairs and get some long underwear? Jack, we can slow down a second, please. Uh. 
Yes, that's a good idea. If it weren't yesterday! Well, you could use the thumbs. What do you say? Ah, I would say not would. Maybe. Oh, here it comes. Climbing the beanstalk proved bitterly cold and held many other hardships. <laughs> hardships? That's plural! Why can't it just be one hardship? It's a bunch of hardships. Nothing in the book that says Grayson wakes up, has a bagel and schmear and a cup of coffee, and everything's fine. How many hardships can there be? <laughs> hey, fellas, remember me? Ooh. Define irony. I'll get you for that, Murray! <laughs> We made it. Grayson. Grayson? I'm in the book. I'm a literary character. <laughs> Jack and Grayson find themselves in the maze kingdom of the evil giant. You see, I'm in the... with the evil... Oh, crud. There it is again. Come on, Grayson. Let's go! believe you screaming at an old man. You made him cry. What's the matter, kids? Sir, sir, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to yell. It's not that. It's just that you said that word. You know, that word. Destiny's heart? Oh! <laughs>
Well, it should be. He's a master craftsman. See, it's made by the legendary Stradivarius. Ah! No, that's not it. But it, it says right here, Stradivarius. My name is very Sadius. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, uh, he's well known, too, I guess. How I love my destiny. Yeah, I love my destiny, too. I only wish I knew what my destiny was. One minute, I'm a goose. I was waddling around, pecking at worms. Everything's great. Then I wake up, and I've got this face. It's hideous. No, it's not that destiny. Destiny is my granddaughter. She wasn't always a harp. <laughs> she was a beautiful little girl with a voice that could make the angels weep. She was the light of my heart until the giant heard her singing and wanted the song for himself. Evil. He plunders everything he wants. He took my destiny. Sing for me. Sing. Never. She refused to sing for the brute. So, using the last of a stolen potion, he cast a spell and turned her into a golden harp. I've tried to rescue her, so have many others, but nobody can defeat the giant. That's why I'm trying to make another harp to exchange for. Ask him one question, he tells you a story. It's like three and a half hours long. Excuse me, uh, how is the harp going? Okay. So, where is Des... <laughs> the harp now? The giant has her in the castle. He keeps her under lock and key. Come on, we're heading to the castle. No, 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 don't you understand? The maze is filled with puzzles and problems, and the giant knows everybody who's in it. There are only two kinds of people who would attempt this, a hero or a lunatic. Don't worry. Between the two of us, I think we got that covered. Uh. We'll bring her back. I promise. <laughs> Come on, Grayson. Come on, Grayson. He orders me around. He's too. <laughs> Destiny. <laughs> It's gone mad, that's what that is. Pesticides, herbicides, growth hormones. Mm. This is nature's fury. Yeah. Or magic beans. Well, yes, yeah, obviously, obviously, uh, nature's fury, all magic beans. I think it's nice. Uh, yeah, either way, you know what this means. Trouble with a capital S. Ah. Tea? Oh, thank you. It's like a big stick of broccoli. Uh, excuse me. I think my son is up there. Oh, don't worry, ma'am. We're highly trained professionals. I'm Sergeant Who. This is Officer What. And the horticulturist over here is Officer Where. Hi. Well? Well what? Yes? Not you. Sorry. What are you going to do? I'm going to do exactly what he tells me to. Who? Exactly. Listen to me. My son is up there. Where? Up there. No, ma'am, not where. I meant where. Yes, sir. She says her son's up there. Who? That Sergeant Who to you, lad. No, who's up there? Oh, who's down here? Me, you, and him, stupid. My son is up there. What?
What? Yes? Not, Not you. you. Oh, sorry. Are you going to do something? Who, me? You who? You who? <laughs> this is ridiculous. There's my little songbird. Don't change your tune for me. That was a song of hope a moment ago. I want to know why. Sing. I'll give you a cookie. I can't eat any. I'll read you a story. No, you won't. You always love. Sing! Here, here is coming to save his destiny. Go and restore the castle and set his trap free. Oh, really? Who is he? Who is this boy? Tell me! All right. I could never hurt you. But he could. His weaknesses. Mm. Did you hear that? No. Well, if you did hear something and you were a little scared, I'd understand it. And if you wanted to go home, I'd back you up on it. If you want to go back, I understand. No. Hey, what suddenly made you change your mind? Top of page 51. Jack and his best friend, Grayson. Never been a best friend before. Cause you're my brother and you're my hero. Okay, well, looks like the hard part's behind us. Hey! Oh, crud. This doesn't look good. The giant thought he might send a little welcoming party. Oh, a party! I was scared for a minute, but a party. We'll have some cake, some ice cream, they'll make balloon animals, and maybe we'll sing karaoke and then go home. <laughs> Not really the kind of party you had in mind. I think I'll leave you and your new friends to get acquainted. Oh, <laughs> 
Nothing, nothing at all. Wow, that was fantastic. I mean, you saved us. Wow. I mean, that was... Whoa. You with the who in the in the yeah. Wow. I'm Jack. I'm Jillian. Who's <laughs> the turkey? I'm a goose. Why is that so hard for people? This is Grayson. So who were those guys anyway? That? That was Dobby Talk. The giant's number one in his brute squad. You guys must have the giant pretty worried if he sent them. The giant is worried about us. Ha! Ah, punk better be! Now he's gonna be mad. <laughs> Look, we have to go and fast. They scare easy, but believe me, they'll be back in greater numbers and with something more than just pillows. Follow me. Wait. I got a bad feeling about this. Eh, sorry, sister, but we're on an ultra top secret mission. Yeah, to get Destiny's Harp. Uh, how did you know that? The entire kingdom knows. I can help you. Look, we appreciate your help and all that, but we've got this under control. I mean, aside from her dazzling abilities with bedroom furnishings, what can she really do for us? This is the magical kingdom of Teleania, which you have reached by climbing the magical beanstalk. The giant has terrorized this land for over 30 years, kidnapped Destiny, the daughter of Very Sadia, so he had construct this stone maze in return for not hurting his granddaughter, which he turned into a magical harp that he keeps locked away in a trunk that can only be opened by two keys, one of which the giant wears around his neck, the second which is hanging in the crystal cave. Oh, and I've been to know this maze like the back of my hand. I have a scar on my right thumb. So? Uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Peanut butter and jelly time! Peanut butter and jelly time! Peanut butter okay. and jelly time! Come on. Okay. Peanut butter and jelly! Peanut butter and jelly! Peanut butter and jelly with a baseball bat! Peanut butter and jelly! Peanut butter and jelly! Peanut butter and jelly with a baseball bat! Peanut butter and jelly! Peanut butter and jelly! Peanut butter and jelly with a baseball bat! Hey! He takes away my big musical number! She's amazing, huh? Well, I, I don't know if I use the term amazing. I, I, that might not be the first thing I, I mean, look, e even in the book, it wouldn't call her amazing. I mean, look, here, it, uh, amazing. Oh, crud. Thank you, thank you, may I have your attention? Your attention, please. <laughs> thank you. Um, the town council has unanimously decided this, um, Beanstalk uh, is not technically green space and uh, may be a threat to our security. So we're going to chop it down. Uh, sir, uh, my, my son is up there. If you, if you chop it down, he'll be trapped with no way home. Your son is up there? Yes. Not here, he's there? No, no, he's there. Oh, madam. I am so sorry. Thank I'm, you. 
woefully, woefully sorry for this unbelievable sacrifice you're making on behalf of the town. You're a good woman, oh. heroic oh. and brave. Bring in the lumberjacks! Oh, no, you can't do that, please! I, I just did. I said, bring in the lumberjacks! No, you can't do that! No, I did. I can't not do it. I can't rescind the order. I'm the mayor. You. I would need to bring the city council back in no. here. No, please don't hug the thing. It's very unseemly. There's nothing to see here. I'll bring in the lumberjacks! No. Ah! Uh, oh! Who goes there? Us. Friend or foe? Friend. Foe? No, friend. Go away. I mean it, beat it. Scram! Get lost. Is this the center of the maze? No. Are you sure? No. I get it. It's opposite day, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> I knew it. He said no. Which means yes, right? <laughs> no. Is everything opposite? Not as far as you know. <laughs> this isn't right, Jack. Come on. No, wait a second. Um, we're looking for Destiny's harp. Never heard of it. Great, that means he knows all about it. This is silly, Jack. Come on. We heard you need a key to set it free. It's a pack of lies. Good, so we go straight through the maze. No. Good. It's not on the other side of the maze. It's not. <laughs> yes. Wait, yes to it's not, or it's not not on the other side? Yes. No. Right. <laughs> I'm lost. You just got to think backwards. Or stupid. Hey. You can't get there from here. Oh, perfect. So how do we do it? Well, don't keep to the left, and you won't find an iron door, which doesn't lead to the Crystal Cave. Fine. So we stay left. That leads us through an iron door that takes us to the Crystal Cave, where we find the key that sets us free, right? Wrong. Right. Wrong. Right. It's a piece of cake. <laughs> it's a piece of cake. <laughs> you see, it's easy. It's a... Wait a minute. You said piece of cake. Piece of cake. Are there nasty things on the other side? No, not at all. Oh, none, 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 no. <laughs> oh, crud. Well, you all seem to have failed the test, so go on. I'm a golden geek. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank me. Oh, did you see what he, he, he said don't. It's not up. It's... Oh. So long. No, we have some bananas. Hey, we gotta go left. It's not the way, Jack. This way. No, no. He said, don't go left. And if he says, don't go left, we go left because it's opposite day. I'm sorry. How would you know? Besides, maybe it's the totally honest day or trick the idiot day. Look, Jack, it's dangerous in here. And do you really want to trust your life to it, chicken? Hey! Come on. No, wait, wait. Here, let's see what the book says. Here. The trio headed into the maze, uncertain of what lay ahead. Oh, this is not time for a cliffhanger! <laughs> Oh, I really don't need that guy right now. Have a nice day. Not. <laughs> OK, what's with the book? It's my story. You have your own story? Well, yeah. You mean it records everything you do? Everyone you meet and what they do and stuff? Oh, follow me. I'm the cute girl. I'm Little Miss Perfect. I'll be your best friend. I'll save you from pillows and make everyone puke. What is your problem? I don't have a problem. I'm perfect. I'm Mr. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Here we go. As they traveled the maze, Grayson was filled with envious thoughts and burning with jealousy. Even though he had eaten most of the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. First of all, I only had three. Four. All right, four the most. But then what point of view is that book taking? Look, 
If she's so wonderful, how come she doesn't have her own story? Why does she have to be an Oz? Maybe she's the plucky sidekick. I'm the plucky sidekick. Maybe I'm the hero. Maybe she's the bad guy in disguise. <laughs> what? Maybe she's the bad guy. I'm not the bad guy. See, that's what bad guys always say. And then they follow it up by going, I'm really not. I'm really not. See? She could be leading us into a trap. I won't leave her. Okay, we we get it, Jack. You're not like your father, and and maybe that's the problem. You see, every hero has a tragic flaw that leads him to defeat. Hamlet was all flippy floppy. Achilles had the foot thing, and you're trying so hard not to be a father that you're gonna fail. I'm not a failure. Come on, Julian, let's go. I I didn't. I I wait. Did you hear that? What was that? It's nothing. Follow me. No, no, you, you spoke. This way. Hey, wait up! What? What is this? It'll be dark soon. We should camp for the night. This way. Yeah, like I'm sure that way's safe. their barky goodness, their leafy foliage. We're rather in the middle of something here. I never wanted to be a lumberjack anyway. I always wanted to do something different with my life. Well, what did you want to be? I always wanted to be. What, what? I always wanted to be. Say it, man! A pet store owner! What? Yes, huggable dogs, hamsters, little rabbits. A Norwegian blue parrot. A Norwegian Got blue beautiful parrot. Get rid of him. Anteaters. Well, we shall not be moved. We 
Oh, what is it now? We shall, we shall not be moved. We shall, we shall not be moved. That's it! The Iron Gate! Just like the opposite guy didn't say! Yeah. Good job getting us here. in an infomercial. Julie, are you all right? Oh, great. Two keys. It would have to be two keys. They can't make it easy, like, have one key there and a sign that says, take this key. Well, let's see. Opposite guy said, take the golden key. So it's easy. We can't... No. It's opposite guy, so that means it's opposite Therefore, we take the silver key, because he said the golden key, and we could take that, but I guess that means something else. You understand? Not really. But Jillian said take the golden key, right? Oh, yeah. And Jillian's your friend. Bars. <coughs> yeah, great craftsmanship. Don't worry, we'll never get out of here. Three, five, oh, fun. I smell the blood of an Englishman. <coughs> Giant. Well, uh, uh, technically, I'm not English or a man. I'm a tufted Roman. And uh, I think I may be a quarter Italian on my mother's side. <laughs> ah! Hmm. Grayson! What? Like you've never been scared and... Oh. What have we here? <laughs> uh, you, you might want to rinse that off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Carrots. From me? And I'm on a low-fiber diet. Hmm. I thought you were a guy. I am a guy. Guys can't lay eggs. Well, take a gander. Ooh, a swan that lays golden eggs, Dobby Talk. I'm a goose! A goose! Get him. Okay. Come here. <laughs> Come on. Let him go! Did you really think you could beat me? A little nobody like you. <laughs> Just who do you think you are, boy? Now, what about you? Don't even think about it, dog breath. Ah, he doesn't know. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. <laughs> know what? <laughs> Jack, I tried to tell you. You brought him here just like you promised. You set us up. <laughs> I did, but Come on, you. I had a really good reason. <laughs> I really did. Just listen to me. Please, Jack. Please. No, I'm not. <laughs> Jack. Jack. Wait. 
I did what you asked. We had a deal. You bring me Jack, and I give you your father. And I am a giant of my word. Dump it off! Stop it! Yes, boss. Get the father. Oh, yeah. Father will do. Yes, I'll get the father. <laughs> Hello. No father. No. No. <laughs> Trick you. The old fool escaped months ago. Found an escape route to the world below. He got away with that crust, the other prisoner who helped him. And guess what? Now I have his daughter. No, no. His daughter. No. Take her away. We didn't kill giants. Oh, boo-hoo. <laughs> Take her. No, you lied. You're a liar. Get off me, you idiot. We have to get rid of the beanstalks of the terror up there. Did not come down here. Chop around her. That's right. Chop. 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 Jack, I... Don't. But I really want to explain... Just shut up, okay? Lay another egg. Lay another egg! Look, maybe it was a one-time deal. We could try the Lamont's method. Uh, you know, encouraging support. Encouraging support. Just do it! Ah! Hmm, bullion. Good. Hmm. Look, Jack, I really didn't mean for this to happen. If you only knew why. You're the giant's lackey. That's what lackeys do. I'm not a lackey. Once upon a time. There was a girl named Jillian who wanted to be the greatest hero of all time. But her father was captured by an evil giant. I did whatever I had to save my father. I didn't care. How I did it, or who I hurt. 
And now I see that there's just so much more to being a hero than just what you do. So you are. Right. Wait! No. I'd rather be anything in your story than a hero on my own. You shouldn't have done that. Now my story won't be told. I failed. Jack, a hero's only a failure if you end their story too soon. I want to help you and bury Sadius. Then I'll go down that beanstalk and I'll search for my father. What do you say, Jack? Okay. Let's do it. Okay. So, okay. We're gonna need to try to find a way out of here. We're gonna need to find something to pick the lock, okay? Okay. Believe. Did you find something? It's a family crest. Do you know it? Dad. It's my family crest. The old fool escaped months ago, found an escape route to the world below. He got away, but I trust the other prisoner who helped him. Trust the other prisoner who helped him. Trust the other prisoner who helped him. Trust the other prisoner. Jack. I think I know what happened to your father. He was a hero, but he's gone now. And I'm so sorry. Jack, I'm so sorry. No. No. The giant. this. I completely forgot about that. We can use the wire from this to pick the lock. Cool. You don't think. What? What do you know? I guess I really am the bad guy. <laughs> I've seen 
Jack. I told you she was the bad guy. Yeah, but I'm the bad guy with the heart of gold. Well, you might have a heart of gold, but look at my face. Okay, pit. time to go. Okay. This way. No, the giant's over there. We can get out there. But I gotta get the harp. It's my quest, remember? Give me a call tomorrow. No. Now. Mm, that way. That way. Jack. Mm. Going somewhere? Uh. Duck! I keep whoa, telling whoa, you whoa, I'm whoa. not a... Oh. oh, you meant that I should have ducked, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quick, we need something to throw. You're not throwing me, then. Not you, your eggs. I can't just produce an egg. It only happens when I'm scared. Bash it! Gravy! Fee, fi, fo, fam. I smell hot. Now would be a good time to run! Go! Wait for the beanstalk! Run! 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 Come on! Hurry, Jack! Jack! Come back, <laughs> Come on. Hurry. Here, see my hand. You'll never escape. Fum. I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be ye live or be ye dead, I'll crush your bones to make my bread. Oh dear! Jump faster! Jump faster! Go! Go! Jump! Oh dear! Jack, hurry up! <laughs> Off the badonka donk. Oh, 
You're okay. Oh, I was so worried. Are you all right? I'm fine, Mom. Thatcher Jr. I didn't expect to see you again. I know. Mm hmm. Do you have anything to show me before I give you your final grade? surprised. I guess the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. Excuse me. Huh? <gasps> Lancelot, square job, winner of, of uh, the hero's challenge more times than anyone. You see, my life was saved by a true hero. Daniel Thatcher. Daniel Thatcher? He sacrificed his life for mine. But because of the injuries I sustained, it was impossible for me to save destiny or my own daughter. And so I turned for help to the greatest hero I could find, his son. It's true. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Oh. And, um, oh, what's that word I'm looking for? It starts with a P. <laughs> P. <laughs> Anyone? Uh, proof. <laughs> uh, maybe you should read this. Once upon a time, there was a boy named Jack, whose initiative and perseverance and sacrifice made him a true hero. And now, with the help of these, oh, what do you call them? Oh, yes, thumbs, opposable thumbs. Ahem. Please, please, please. Hello. 
Hello. Marco. Hello. Hmm. <laughs> oh, me like it. <laughs> right. Fee, foe, vi, fum. I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be ye live or be ye dead, I'll crush your bones to make my bread. 